Alright, how's everybody doing out there today in Math Magic Land? This is Mr. Muscarel coming at you, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to tell where the intervals of a graph are increasing, decreasing, and constant. Alright, here's the least you need to know. you got to analyze slopes of the curve, and a positive slope will mean that a function is going to be increasing. A negative slope means that a function is going to be decreasing, and a zero slope means the function will be constant. So hopefully you can look at a picture of a slope and know when a graph is slanted upwards, downwards, or flat. You will always use the x values. Sometimes they'll be t because in some uh, graphs you'll be analyzing time along the horizontal axis, but generally, you know, whatever's along the horizontal axis is what you're going to use. And then you will always, always, always use soft brackets. You will never, ever, ever use brackets that are like this, the hard brackets. You don't use those because that is not what we use when we're talking about increasing, decreasing, and constant. All right, so let's take a look at our first example. So we're going to take a look at this, and we're going to analyze the function from left to right. We're going to read it from left to right, and we're going to take a look at the what's going on here so as I go from where this starts right here at x equals negative 5 so from right here to right here I've got a positive slope right there which means my function is going to be increasing then I have another positive slope along right here anywhere the slope is positive that is where your function will be increasing so I'm going to write my x values where those intervals are and one of those intervals goes from negative 5 all the way to negative 2 so from negative 5 to negative 2 is my first interval and then my second interval so I'm going to join them using the symbol here I'm going to join them using that and my second interval is going to go from 1 it's going to go from 1 all the way to 3 so that's the intervals where my function where my graph is going to have a positive slope or be increased now next, I'm going to take a look at this, this piece that's right here in the middle. This piece in the middle right here, that's where my function is has a flat line or a zero slope. And any time that we have a zero slope, that's where the function is constant. And that's going to go from negative 2 all the way to 1. From negative 2 to 1 along the x-axis from right here to right here, that's where I have that zero slope. So my function will be described as being constant. Now lastly, I've got my negative slope along here. When you see a negative slope, of course, that's going to imply that the function is going to be decreasing. So I'm going to be decreasing from 3. Now, since this goes all the way here to 5, 3 to 5 is where I'm going to be having a negative slope. So that's where the interval for my function is decreasing. All right, that's it. Straightforward stuff. Not too bad. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at a second example. All right, so here in example number two, we're going to take a look at these couple of intervals right here. I've got two of them, all right, and you'll see right here I've got this part where I've got a negative slope and I've got this piece where I have a negative slope, and then right in between them I have a, I've got a positive slope. So as I start with the, you know, going from left to right first, I've got a negative slope, so I'm going to be decreasing from negative infinity all the way up to that very first x value is where my turning point is right there at x equals negative one. So that's going to be one interval where I'm decreasing, but I'm also in increasing or decreasing here from 1 uh, onwards forever to the right to infinity and of course I join them using that symbol there so I'm going to be decreasing in two intervals but then I'm increasing only in between negative 1 and 1 so between negative 1 and 1 is where my function is going to be having a positive slope which means my function is increasing no constant in this one all right pretty straightforward stuff now let's take a look at our third example check this one out now again, when I analyze everything that's going on here, I want to take a look at this region right here, so that gives me a positive slope. Over here I have a positive slope, and in between them uh, I'm going to have a negative slope, so from negative 3 all the way to 1 is going to be where that negative slope is. But then notice right here I've got this other little piece right there where I'm going to have a constant. So my increasing interval, so I'm going to start with my increasing, and I'm going to go from negative infinity all the way up to negative 3. That's going to be my first increasing interval. And then again right here there's a turning point in x equals 1, so from 1 all the way up to x equals 4. So from 1 to 4, that's my other positive slope area. Now in between negative 3 and 1, that's where my function is decreasing. So I have a negative slope between negative 3 and 1. And then constant, I'm going to have a constant slope. So I'm going to have a flat line, a zero slope, from 4 all the way to the right forever. So 4 to infinity. 
All right, so that's it when uh, we take a look at increasing, decreasing, and constant. Now, of course, what I want you to do is pause the video right here. Try this one. Try this one on your own. Pause it, and then come on back after a moment or so, because this one's going to have quite a few little sections. All right, see you in a moment. All right, so how'd you do, Rockstar? I'm sure you nailed it. You've got all three intervals correct for increasing. You've got the decreasing interval from negative 2 to 3, and you have the one constant interval from 4 to 5. All right, just make sure you take your time, because a lot of times people make a careless mistake. They'll use the y value of a coordinate instead of using the x value. So take your time, and I'm sure you will nail this each and every time from now on. All right, so by now, I'm sure you understand how to determine the regions, the intervals where a function is increasing, decreasing, and constant. All right, thanks for watching today, boys and girls. You have a great day. Peace out.